Kwa nini tukienda kufungua miradi? Kwa nini unapiga nduru? Eh? Si umesema hiyo miradi ni ya hewa? Waacha nani na sisi bwana? Waambie sisi watu wache na. Waende wafanye campaign. Kama hawajui kufanya campaign, basi wagoje siku ifike tuwarudishe nyumbani vizuri bila maneno. Muungano wa NASA unamtaka kiongozi wa mashtaka Keria Kotobiko kuwafungulia mashtaka mawaziri wa nane kwa kujihusisha na kampeni kinyume cha sheria. NASA imewataja mawaziri Fred Matiangi, Eugene Wamalwa, Mwangi Kyunjuri, James Masharia, Najib Balala, Cleopa Mailu, Joseph Mkaiseri na Katibu Joseph Njoroge na Mkurugenzi Mkuu wa Halmashauri ya Utozaji Ushuru KRA John Njiraini kwa kuhusika na kampeni za jubili. Wanamtaka Tobiko kuchukua hatua kwa muda wa siku saba zijazo la sivo wafungulie mashtaka kibinafsi Kenyans who may not be aware of the gross abuse of office by President Uhuru Kenyatta and his cohorts should know that the IBC the DCI and DPP are aware of the violations but are conveniently colluding to defraud citizens of free fair and credible elections Huna ruhusa kisheria na kikatiba kutumia mali ya umma au kutumia vivazo zote zile ambazo zinahusiana na umma kujipikia debe ili uchaguliwe Mumeona ndugu zetu wa jubili hata saa hizi ukienda Wilson Airport pengine utapata ndege ya Air Force imengojea hapo kumpeleka rais uhuru kwa kampeni yake ndege za polisi zinangojea ruto kumpeleka popota atakapo ndege za majeshi za helikopta ziko hapo na kushangaza ni kwamba hata vile tumeona rais na serikali yake wanazunguka Kenya mzima wakipepa hundi za pesa kutoka treasury wakipeana kwa wananchi vile mliona kisi hivi karibuni na kuambia ya kwamba wapigiwe kura The president of Kenya is never above the law at any time even with the immunities which are under the constitution because it is the question of when he can be prosecuted but as far as the elections offenses act is concerned so long as he is a candidate under the act he is a candidate and that's why Musali has said earlier that the government of Kenya is not a candidate it is Uhuru Kenyatta who is a candidate exactly. so long as he's a candidate is bound by the election offenses act Bunge la Taifa limeahirisha vikao vyake ili kutoa nafasi kwa wabunge kushiriki kampeni za uchaguzi. Kwenye kikao cha mwisho hii leo wabunge wamesema japo hawakufanya yote waliohitajika kufanya, wamejizatiti kuafikia mengi katika muda waliokuwa nao. Baadhi ya miswada imesalia bila kushughulikiwa ukiwemo mswada wa usawa wa jinsia, lakini wabunge wamesema watakapohitajika kurejea basi wataupa kipaumbele. We have uh, tried our best how we can uh, arrange our people and how we can arrange our parliament lakini mambo ilikuwa mzuri katika mbunge yetu na tumeweza kuelewana kwa vitu nyingi na mzali mwingi ambaye tumepitisha katika mbunge lakini saa zingine unakuta kuna vitu zingine mnapitisha katika mbunge lakini kwa implemented ama siendelee kwa ground inakuwa insinda hiyo ndio peke yake ilikuwa na problem that's why the problem is this 11th parliament has been the first parliament under the new constitution and i can tell you when we came so many are the legislations which needed to be enacted by parliament to enforce the constitutional provisions which were still pending this parliament has seen through you know all those legislations today we have laws which make it very easy to register business and to do business and you remember it is this parliament which uh, for the first time in our history came up with the new companies act the new registration laws and everything we have a new marriage act it is easier for people to marry today uh, the areas are law, the, the areas around family are now well secured by law uh, in terms of our procedures in courts and, and the systems of administration and governance we have done a lot now you need to look at the success of this parliament in terms not just uh, about uh, the number of laws it has passed but the quality of those laws and i also wanted to say i'm happy this 11th parliament has had occasion to review most of those laws which were passed hastily by the 10th parliament and then to put them in order in terms of our oversight mandate 
we have tried, but uh, we have had this challenge of tyranny of numbers, which has been the biggest undoing, if I were to call it, on the part of the 11th parliament. You know, we budget, then we are required to oversight budget. Uh, our colleagues on the Jubilee side have been a bit cagey when we go to interrogate so much about, you know, national government expenditure. I address it very highly. I think uh, Senate did distinguish itself as the upper house. We had uh, very, very enlightened uh, debates uh, in the house. We've had very, very good pieces of legislation. As I said, unfortunately, a lot of that le legislation was not completed because of the issues that we had between the Senate and the National Assembly. But I think we have uh, stamped clearly what the role of the Senate is. And I think uh, the, uh, the next Senate that are going to come will have their work cut out for them. They have a template to build on. Ndazamaji tuelekee sasa katika kaunti ya Nyeri ambako wazee katika eneo hilo wamepata fursa hiyo pekee kujikumbusha ujana wao huku wakiungana kuadhimisha siku ya haki za wakongwe. Wazee hao wamepata fursa ya kipekee kujivinjari na wenzao huku wakifahamishwa kuhusu haki zao. Karonderi ametuandalia taarifa hii. Maadhimisho ya siku ya haki za wakongwe hii leo Wakfu wa Purity Elderly Care ulijiunga kwa maadhimisho hayo. Kinanyanya wakakumbushwa siku zao za ujana za urembo na vile vile kina babu nao hawakuachwa nyuma. Wageni waheshimiwa walikuwa ni hawa na lazima yote yangefanywa leo kwa ajili yao. <tos> Joyce Wanjiko huwa shughulikia makongwe katika eneo la Nyiri na viunga vyake na husema yeye alijitolea kufanya hivyo baada ya kumpoteza mama yake uzeeni bila ya kupata muda wa kumshughulikia mama yake Purity katika siku zake za mwisho duniani. Jambo hilo ndilo lilimpa motisha kujitolea kuwatunza wazee eneo la kati. The theme for today is understand and stop financial abuse of on older persons and that theme is actually talking about especially here in Kenya more so in my in my county where we abuse our older persons because of inheritance of land property and such things. Kutokana na kijibaridi cha nyiri, wanjiko vile vile hutoa mwito kwa wenyeji kuwa wafadhili na kutoa vifaa kama blanketi, mavazi na chakula. Anasema ni jambo la kutamaosha kwamba jamii huwatelekeza wakongwe na kuwasahau ilhali wanastahili kupewa heshima zao. Aging is not a disease, it comes with it and we are getting old. Nimekuja hapa kwa sababu nimealikwa na huyu mama msichana anaitwa Wajuko akaniambia ati nikija hapa nitaweza furahi nitatibiwa bure nitapewa kitu ya ya kutumia nyumbani aidha ni blanket aidha ni kitu cha kukula nitapewa hapa sababu ana anaedaga na wale wakuru wa, wa, wa wakati wa sherehe za sikukuu ya madaraka zilizofanyika kule Kafiro ni Nyiri Rais Uhuru Kenyatta alisema mradi wa pesa kwa wazee zaidi ya umri wa miaka sabini unastahili kupanuka na kujumuisha wazee zaidi sasa wanaomba wasisahaulike na washikadau hakikishe kuwa kila mkongwe aliyetimiza umri wa miaka sabini na zaidi afikiwe na hela hizo. Carol Derikate Inyiri. Bila shaka ni taarifa ya kuridhisha kuwaona wakongwe wakinengua viungo polepole wakipambwa kule katika kaunti ya Nyeri. Mtazamaji tokuwa tukisalia katika maeneo hayo kwenye mjadala wa leo ambapo tunaangazia siasa za eneo la mlima Kenya. Je, wao hupigia nini kura? Wewe wao hupigia nani kura? Tokuwa tukijadili historia ya upigaji kura katika eneo la mlima Kenya ikiwa ni awamu ya kwanza ya makala haya maalum kuhusu siasa za maeneo. Eh, wiki jeo labda tutakuwa katika eneo lako tukiangazia siasa za eneo hilo lina zinaendesho vipi na leo studio ni unavyomuona tuko naye mbunge maalum Isaac Maura na pia tuko naye daktari uh, Peter Ndiga watakuwa kituueleza mengi zaidi kuhusu historia na tutakuwa tukiendelea na mjadala huu hadi mwendo wa saa mbili hivyo endelea kutegia taarifa zetu lakini kwanza tupumzike kisha tuingie katika sehemu yetu ya swala nyeti usiende mbali